Welcome to the Ridgewood High School Maroon Minute. We're excited to share with you short snippets and interviews to give you a snapshot look into our community. We're proud of our staff and students and want you to get to know them on another level. Go Maroons! All right. Hello, everybody. The year is 2021, and we are bringing back our uh, guidance interview series. This new one we're going to call the Maroon Minute. And um, we're really excited to kick this off. Um, and our first guest on uh, the Maroon Minute is going to be our new principal and leader in the building, uh, Mr. Nias. Uh, Mr. Nias, we want to say hello to everybody. Hello. Thanks for having me, Mr. Fabish. This Absolutely. Old territory for you and I. That's right. Stuff. Um, yeah. So uh, for those of you that are not aware, I'm sure everyone in our community at least is aware, uh, Mr. Nice is, is uh, in his new role as the principal of Ridgewood High School. And uh, we're excited to have him, me personally, um, having worked under uh, you as, a, as the guidance supervisor, uh, I'm excited to, to see what you have in store for us here um, for the entire school. And, um, you know, I guess the, the first thing I want to hear from you is just how things are going for you in your new role. How, how, how's it different? How is it challenging? How is it better? Um, you know, how's, how's everything for you? Um, you know, I just, I've been thinking a lot about this. I don't think I could have answered this question like the way I can answer it now, obviously being in the position for a few months. Um, when I took the director of guidance job, um, which, you know, is now with Mr. Bailey, like, you know, people used to tell me, oh, that's the toughest job in the high school. That's, you know, that's, mm -hmm. that's actually, it might, might be the toughest job in the district. That's just, you know, you got a lot going on, a lot of, you know, but, um, and it was, I mean, that was a really, it was really hard. I mean, work a lot, you know, a lot of night outs, you know, meetings at night and then stuff like that. But um, the difference between that job and this job, I, I, I had a lot of time to think about it now. I mean, and the, physical work in the sense of that i think there's more work in that job um in this job there's more worry um mm. and i let me explain that a little bit um in this job i have to manage other people's work you know and i have to kind of um you know make sure that you know people are doing you know what they need to do and you know and and it's a lot of stress a lot of pressure but um but what makes it easier here is we have really good people, um, really good teachers, really good counselors, really good GAs, you know, case managers, and just, you know, faculty in general. I mean, it, it you know, so there, that part of it is better. Um, and, uh, you know, I like, I like doing what I do. Like, I like being around the classrooms more. I like, like this morning, we had an enrichment morning. Um, I like running those and kind of, being a part of the faculty trainings and things like that, it's it's kind of nice. That's great, and I, and I've I you know never really thought about it that way in terms of the, just the um, it's it's not the the physical work, but just the the mental work yeah. of of what it takes to 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 run the building. Right. Um, yeah, that's a great um, yeah. a great thing to realize early on. Sure, sure. <laughs> um, so you know, here we are um first kind of foray back into more of a normal school day um and school year um how would you say things are going just in in general here in the school from your perspective um i'm so glad you're asking me this today because i can i can use this i i, I and you could probably attest to this too chris uh, you know i feel like you know the last couple days um especially this week there's so many positive things happening, um, you know, and I think, you know, I, you know, things are getting so much back to where they were. Um, and, you know, let me just give you an example. Like uh, Tuesday morning, I came in, we had an, uh, a veterans breakfast um, and the veterans breakfast was run by two of our staff members, um, Allison Seek and Greg Zeno did a great job. Um, and we had veterans there. I, we had about 150 kids talk about, you know, you know, and they kids were learning about different areas of the military and the sacrifices these veterans gave. And, and I thought it was wonderful. Moving into the day, you know, daily routines, things going on. 
um, we had our girls soccer play a game around two o'clock, which they're also playing today in a little bit. So we got to get off of this soon. Um, but, uh, <laughs> but having some of the school like join the girls, so I mean, the, the stadium was full. And for those girls to feel that energy and, and, you know, cause that doesn't happen often where they get that opportunity. It was just amazing. And then it went on that night. We had uh, the girls' volleyball team win, and they won again last night. They're playing at William Patterson. I mean, these types of things are just so cool. Um, so, like, I like people are con congratulating me. Oh, that's great! And I'm like, really? That's me? I didn't do anything. Like, I'm. But it's like it's funny how like everything that happens in the high school is equated to something that I'm doing. But honestly, it's because of the great coaches, the great people that are are working here. I mean, and it's yeah. just, it's fun to be a part of it. Right. And, and, you know, and like you're saying, not only is it nice for, I mean, and I was out there, so it yeah. was, it was really great to see the, the, the stands filled and classes to, to file out. I mean, it really was a pretty cool experience yeah. you know, from my perspective, just as a spectator. Sure. Um, you know, but it, but it means a lot when someone can, can look off to the sideline and see, the principal is standing there watching too. Like it, it means a lot. And yeah. that's, you know, having worked with you for 10 years, that's, I know that that's a big part of what you try to bring to the table. And so yeah, thank you. I, I know that the community appreciates that um, because you're, you know, you're, you're present and that's, and that's important. Thank you. Um, so real quick to wrap up, yeah. um, some people may not know that you come from, from quite a large family. Uh, how many brothers and, and sisters do you have? I have eight siblings. Barry, Eight, Brian, Joe, Pam, Danny, Jimmy, Glenn, Jeff, Mike. Um, <laughs> for those of you that are watching this, if you've seen Goodwill Hunting, you will remember <laughs> that. Is that line in, in there? Bobby Jummy, what I, you know, he rambles on and says 13 names. But anyway, so, yeah. So, real quick, I, I have to ask. Now, I heard Jeff, then Mike at the very end. So, you're second to youngest. Yes, I'm number eight. How was it getting, how, how was, what was dinner like? Just what was a typical dinner like? Um, you know, my growing up, my, they used to say my mom was a saint and I never realized it till, I mean, you know, having, and she was a great cook, but you had to eat pretty fast. I still yeah. eat fast today. Um, and just one last thing before we cut out, we had one of those industrial milk machines. Like you, you guys, the kids, with if the, you're listening to handle. this, yeah, pull up the handle. <laughs> We used to get 12 gallons of milk every week oh my goodness. and it was great. It was so cold. We had to pull a refrigerator for it. Great stuff. That's great. Yeah. Well, Mr. Nias, I, I want to just thank you. Um, one, just like we talked about already for your leadership, but just also on a personal note for taking the time to, to help me kick this off. Mm -hmm. um, really excited to get this going and, and um, allow the community to get to know our staff a lot better. So, Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah, Chris, thank you. And thanks for getting this started. I think this is going to be wonderful. Yeah, I'm excited. All thanks, right. Ben. This has this is this has been another Maroon Minute. All right. Thank you.